I am Danvi Pilar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here and you all should totally subscribe. Well, if you're new, then you should subscribe. And if you're even old, then if you haven't subscribed yet, you should do that. And, you know, well, you should do that if you're looking for the content that I make and you're looking for something like that. And today I'm going to make this video on 10 English phrases that will that you can use in your daily life and you know your English would sound way better and much better so let's get started shall we so the first one is never mind the first phrase is never mind I'm pretty sure if your people watch like English movies or even if you watch English tutorials and not English tutorials but English YouTube videos or even normal people speaking in English or like they're having a dialogue or a conversation that sometimes they use never mind you know when do we use never mind like me and you are having a conversation just imagine this and while we are having the conversation I'm gonna be like oh sorry I'm late so if I am late and then you're gonna be like like never mind like it's okay so instead of saying it's okay you could just be like never mind so there you go it's okay is also okay I mean you can use this but if you're gonna use never mind that would be a much better phrase to use all right the next phrase is out of the blue out of the blue is when you are like you know you call someone up in like ages you call someone in like 10 years not like 10 years 10 years is a whole lot of time but if you call someone in like three to four months and you know without any um, without any reason or something so the other person is like oh you're calling me out of the blue like you're calling me after so many days and out of the blue like without no re without any reason and even if you are not like you know uh, calling with a reason or even if you are calling like you ask someone you asked you fair you had like an appointment with someone and you ask them like can I call you at 9 p.m. and they're gonna be like okay you can call me at 9 p.m. but then you call them at like 8 p.m. and then they're gonna be like oh you're calling me out of the blue so that is what out of the blue means so whenever someone rings you after ages oh thank you so much for calling me out of the blue like um, if you ever talk with someone at one certain or at one particular time but you're calling them not at that particular time but at some other time so then the other person's gonna be like oh you're calling me out of the blue thanks for calling me out of the blue like that and it's not only about calling it's about if you're gonna meet someone too or something like that you know you're meeting someone you're ringing someone you are texting with someone so that's what calling uh, out of the blue means all right the next word is the, the phrase is under the weather Weather. Now, if you're feeling sad or if you're feeling depressed, so what are you gonna say? Oh, I'm feeling sad. Oh, I'm feeling depressed. Or if you're feeling down, so you're gonna use all of these different phrases. I'm feeling down. I'm feeling sad. I'm depressed. I'm not feeling happy and all of that stuff, right? But instead of all of these, what you can say is you can say I'm feeling under the weather. Someone's asking you, how are you feeling? And you want to tell that person that you are feeling sad. So you can say, I'm feeling under the weather. I'm feeling under the weather, okay? The next one is, I appreciate that. Now, if someone's like caring for you and you like really are happy that that person is caring for you or you know, they're checking up on you. So you're gonna be like, oh, I appreciate you taking care of me. And you know, someone done your work. So instead of just saying thank you, like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for doing that work. So instead of saying thank you, you can say, I appreciate that right well without the bow uh, I don't know but this bow thing has kind of become a habit since I started learning Japanese okay the next one is break a leg what does break a leg mean now break a leg doesn't mean you're gonna go and break someone's leg because that would be terrible so don't do that to anyone but break a leg means all the best best of luck like someone's going for an audition or a performance or a test or an examination or doing anything going for a proposal and then you just want to wish them luck so instead of saying all the best or uh, my best wishes to you or best of luck you can use break a leg mate well mate is your for your friend or it can be for your for your family or anything so break a leg okay and now the next one is um wait let me check it's a pain in the neck um many of my friends well i don't have like many friends so basically all of my friends are always like you know uh janvi you're a pain in the neck janvi you're a pain in the neck so pain in the neck means if someone's annoying 
if someone's annoying you too much, if someone's like, you know, uh, always annoying you like, hey, come on and all that stuff. Someone's annoying. So you're going to be like, you are a pain in the neck. You are a pain in the neck. So pain in the neck is someone who is always, always annoying you and also a little bit of silly and stupid. The next one is I am on cloud nine. So not only I am on cloud nine. On cloud nine is when someone is like really happy. So that person is at cloud nine. Instead of saying I'm really happy, you can just say I'm on cloud nine. Hey, how are you feeling? So instead of saying I'm ecstatic or I'm feeling really happy, you can say I'm on cloud nine. Yeah, hey. Now cloud nine doesn't mean like there are different clouds in the sky and there is a cloud which is numbered nine. So you're not going to be on that. But instead cloud nine means I'm really happy. The next word is, well, the phrase is, I'm sorry, I always mix that up. The next phrase is on top of the world. Now, how, how about if someone's ask you, if someone asks you, hey, how are you? And you just want to tell them that, wow, you're feeling so energetic and so happy. So you can just say, I am on top of the world. Now, top of the world doesn't mean you have traveled the world, you're on Mount Everest, sitting on the peak of the Mount Everest, but instead top of the world means you're really energetic and you're so freaking happy. Next is loon, lone wolf. Now, lone wolf doesn't mean, you know, a wolf that is really lonely. No. Instead, it's a person who is really lonely. Do you know what a loner is? A loner is someone, how about, you, like, imagine this. You're in your class, and in your class there is this student, and that student doesn't really talk to anyone, and he's just, you know, he has no friends, he just sits by himself, so that person is a lone wolf. He eats by himself, he doesn't need anyone, he doesn't have a companion, so that person is a lone wolf. Next one is piece of cake. Now piece of cake, I mean, uh, sorry to get your mouth watery here, but uh, a piece of cake, it doesn't matter, it doesn't like, it does, sorry, what am I saying? So it doesn't matter like if you're eating a piece of cake or something like that, but here piece of cake means something that is very easy. Like you gotta do a task and you think, oh wow, this task is so easy. So instead of saying something is very easy, you could just say, this is a piece of cake. And voila, I think we have done all the 10 phrases, I suppose. So under the weather, out of the blue. So yeah, I think we have. Uh, sorry about the mix up because I really uh, can't remember the numbering and stuff. So yeah, sorry about that. But thank you so, so much for watching. And I definitely suggest you people to use all of these phrases in your daily life. It will help you in getting, in improving your English and getting also for the pronunciation part, the way I pronounced all of these phrases, I ask you to pronounce all of these in the same way. That'll, inc that'll improve your pronunciation too. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I am Janvi Pavar. Do share this video with your friends and family if they're looking for something like this. Do like, do comment, and do press the ringing bell besides uh, the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Bye.